Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can fix file association problems. What do I mean by a file association problem? Where you get into a situation where you try and lo up, load a file up and it loads up in a program which can't open that file. One of the most popular ones is you've associated your exe files, your executable files with notepad or some other program which can't open exe files. So for instance, if I try and open calculator here on my desktop you can see that it loads up in notepad rather than just loading up calculator okay and this is goes for any exe file so I'll try and load up uh, Google Chrome for instance you see it loads up in notepad rather than loading Google Chrome now uh, you'll also see that my icons have changed to this kind of notepad icon as well alright so I'm going to show you how you can fix these sort of problems. Now this is the hardest one to fix is the XE one because you can't load up any programs. I've seen a lot of people say, well, load up your browser, go to the site and you can download a fix. But you can't load up your browser because again, it's loading up in Notepad, okay? So a little, there's a little trick you can use though to get around this. Okay, I'm going to show you this little trick, okay? The first thing you're going to need to do is hit Control alt delete on your keyboard to bring up the Task Manager. To do that, Hit Control Alt Delete. You're going to see this type of window pop up. When you see this type of window pop up, hit Start Task Manager. Okay, this is going to bring up the Windows Task Manager. Once this window pops up or this program pops up, hold down the left Control button on your keyboard. Now it's very important you do this, otherwise this is not going to work. Okay, so the left left Control button on your keyboard, hold it down, and go to File, New Task. And when you do that with the control button held down, you're going to see this DOS box or command box. From this box, type in CD backslash, then type in CD space, uh, program files, backslash, Internet Explorer. This goes into the Internet Explorer folder. Then type in I explore, I explore, and then hit the enter key. And this is going to load up Internet Explorer. As you can see, I can now load up XE files from the command prompt, okay? Using this method. Now you're amusing in Internet Explorer because I know it's on pretty much every machine that's got Windows, okay? So just for this example, to make it easy, I'm going to use Internet Explorer. When you get when you load up Internet Explorer, you're going to want to go to either uh 8forums.com or you're going to want to go to 7forums.com depending on which version of Windows you've got. So 7 forums for Windows 7, 8 forums for Windows 8, okay? And I'm going to put these links underneath these videos so you can go straight to the page I'm referencing here. And this page is um, will fix your file association problems. So what you want to do is you want to scroll down and find uh, the extension of of the problem here. So in my case it's, it's XE files, okay? So I'm going to scroll down to XE and I can see XE, executable application files. And all you need to do is click on it, on the link. It's going to come up, do you want to save the file or run it? Click on run. And then click on yes. It's just asking you, do you want to enter this information into the registry? Click yes and okay. And you'll now find, if I just minimize Internet Explorer, I close this box down, that if I try and run my programs now, for example, Calculator, it runs no problem. So that's fixed that problem. Um, Mozilla Firefox, yes, anything. It's pretty much fixed the XE problem, okay? Um, I will show you how to fix this, uh, my, the icons problem now, because as you notice, my icons are still... Um, look like notepad icons okay but I just wanted to show you this works for other file types as well so for example if you've got if you've um, accidentally associated, associated your JPEG file for instance uh, to load up in I don't know um, WordPad okay which I have on this system okay just to show you um, I'm gonna load up Windows Explorer go to my downloads folder which is here and if I try to um, load up my JPEG it's loading up in WordPad, okay? It's not loading up in the default uh, JPEG um, program. So to fix this, all I do is I'll come down, I'll see JPEG here as my extension, and it gives you a little description there. All you want to do again is just click on the link, run, uh, yes, and then OK. And we'll see now if this has fixed the JPEG.
double click on it and now it's opened up in the default Windows Photo Viewer okay so that's fixed that and you can see there's loads of file types here and uh, if the file type uh, you need to fix is not here you can leave a message on this forum and the guy will actually add it to the list if he can so it's it's great but as you can see there's, there's a ton of uh, there's a ton of links here okay so I'm going to close this down uh, so all I need to do now is fix these um, the icons on the desktop and for that it's just, just a simple um, restart of Windows so I'm going to do that now and come back uh, so I've rebooted the machine now and as you can see my icons have actually changed back to the default icons for Firefox, Chrome, Explorer, whatever, okay? So I know this this is a big problem for a lot of people, um, but a lot of people do do it accidentally, so I just wanted to show you as a quick and easy fix for it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.